Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and very well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I'm deeply grateful to have the honor and blessing of laying eyes on you this morning. And this morning's message, I believe, is for all of us these days. I think it's really interesting, and I, I love to just go ahead and put out that I believe this community is a very spiritually awake community, uh, a community of service, a community of love, compassion, in a community that's very activist-oriented, we are not afraid to go out in the world and really shine light, question um, things that we know are not right, and not just question them. Be the change that we wish to see and be in the world as a demonstration of our love and our belief in common humanity. All walks, all faiths, all orientations, all one. So, <laughs> I just had to jump right in, guys. I know that we feel this way together. And because we feel this way together, it's not an easy time. It's never been easy to be this way in our life. And I know you know, as I do, that every now and then we find ourselves fringing on burnout. We get frustrated. We get frightened. We get angry. And we get sad. But resilience is the way that I have seen more and more in my life. And I can tell you, I've been uh, an activist-oriented person since my early years. I can remember way back when I was 11, 12 years old, just very much being drawn to activist organizations, activist energy. And uh, here I am, you know, gosh, almost 50 years after that time, still living that way. I believe strongly in this. And that's why I want to share with you today some of the most beautiful things that happen under the influence of resilience. So I wanna share with you a couple things, and I don't normally do this, um, but I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I use to keep my mitochondria strong. And mitochondria is associated with everything phenomenal, right? When your mitochondria is working well, your energy, your resilience, your fortitude, your entire physiological and neurochemical and emotional and psychological well-being, all of those things work when our mitochondria is being augmented through certain ways of living, right? So we got to get sleep, we got to get exercise, lots of green leafy vegetables, get your fiber in, get your beneficial fats. And this is an area that I do focus supplementally. I believe that um, with all that's going on in the world, I need to supplement on top of the lifestyle thing. So I use uh, four supplements religiously every single day. Number one is acetyl L-carnitine. And I take, gosh, upwards of 18 to 2,400 milligrams a day. I take it with breakfast. I also do magnesium 3 renate, which I'm taking about 1,000 milligrams a day. I do CoQ10 upwards to 100 to 200 milligrams a day. And something called PQQ, which is um, an amazing mitochondrial support. Has all kinds of cognitive benefit, cardiovascular benefit. And I will do that about 20 to 30 milligrams a day. But on top of that, I want to share with you why it's so important to consider what resilience will do for us. This is beautiful. When you actually have resilience in your life, so now we kind of lay the foundation. You know, this is who we are. We're activist oriented. We're out in the world doing our work. We're service oriented. We're, we love out loud. So with that, all these things will help us to fortify resilience. And when we do this, uh, it shows that we'll have mental and emotional well-being, decrease anxiety and depression, decrease chronic disease rates, and also increase our longevity. And there are beautiful components. There's three C's I want to share with you that are really kind of connected. There's a fourth C with our resilience. Number one is character. Number two is connection. And number three is contribution. What we know is that our resilience and its relationship to all those benefits and our willingness to be out in the world doing what we're doing is actually that the fact that when we live our character well, uh, honesty, uh, integrity, um, kindness, love. We're just really good humans living this goodness always as much as we possibly believe ourselves into being this. And I'm a big believer. We can all live ourselves into this. So character computes, uh, contributes to resilience. Connection. Things like this morning, right? This is kind of a unique community. Let's jump in and talk about resilience. Let's talk about activism. Let's talk about spirituality. Let's talk about our mitochondria, right? That's a lot. We've been together for four minutes. <laughs> raising. So the connection that we have around the things that we believe in that we're all about also help resilience. And lastly, contribution. That is what I know you do every single day. You're an impact maker. You're about contributing to the greater good. You help to make the whole more wholesome and bring that wholeness into an experience of life, your life, living and loving out loud. 
Resilience, so many powerful benefits and the three things of character, connection, and contribution. And yes, uh, my little special supplement program that I do to give my mitochondria just a little extra love so I can do my best to show up right alongside of you each and every day. So thank you for being you. Thank you for activating your heart and living your light in a beautiful, most wonderful demonstration. I see you. I love you. Bye for now.